What do you feel about O.J. Simpson commenting on these things now? Like, he's making, like, this is not, this is like the second one he's done. Like, he's done, I forget the first one that I heard him, like, comment. Like, there was, there was another case that he commented on, but the minute that this verdict and ruling was down, now he's analyzing it. Like, he's breaking this stuff down, or he's giving his own opinion on these things. How do you feel about that? I, I mean, that's, like, narcissism, right? Like, that has to be. Like, even after he was acquitted, he was like, I'm going to find the murderers. I'm going to dedicate my life to finding the murderers. And I mean, I think it's really to the point where he probably is just delusional. Like, I don't even know what, I, I don't even have words for that. Like, it, it's, it's fucking scary. <laughs> oh, about the book. You know, he wrote that book. Exactly. If I did it, like, which is, the st- and to me, like, that. Whoever bought the book to me, like, that's disturbing to me. Like, the fact that he had to write it or that he wrote it. I don't know if it was ever released because he he owes so much money to Nicole's family and Ron Goldman's family that basically anything he would make off of that would be void to them. Okay. So I I don't know. I can't (laughs) confirm that, but I know that he owes them because he was found, like, liable for their death in a civil suit. And which makes no sense. He got off on a criminal suit, but on a civil suit, yeah, he was found liable. So he owes them tens of millions of dollars. And he's never paid that out. Like, you know, a couple of things went to auction and they got like a little bit of that money, but not in the long run. I, I, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. Like, but when I listen to that series, like, it's not like out of the ordinary for him because he really just thought, like, the things that he did to her, like, in the abuse side, like, even if he would talk about it, like, it just, like, he was so disconnected from it. Like, even when it just happened, like, even after the police would come to his house and she was bloodied and crying, he's like, oh, she's emotional, you know, like, it's just, like, so he's always had that. Like, he's always been able to dissociate and just, like, separate himself from those circumstances and just be, like... <laughs> somewhere else totally like even go into like the fact like how you said like just how the the police used to handle that thing like those situations and that wasn't just in that in in the state of california this used to be like a nationwide thing on domestic issues like that's how they used to just handle things well yeah it used to be like they used to view it as like a personal matter like oh this is a family matter like if a woman could call the police and she'd be crying and, and bruised and all that other stuff and it's just like well this is your household sir like it's insane. It's insane. Like, it really raised us. Like, this shit is really crazy. And I think that's why it's so, it's still so bad to this day. Like, because we spent so much time being like, it's a personal matter. We're not nearly as far as we should be in addressing these things. Because women get killed all the time, still. Like. <laughs> this shit's crazy. Thanks for watching the YouTube page for more exclusive content. Like and subscribe. And if we said something wrong or if there's anything you want us to bring up, Leave a comment right down there.